guys, we're live on the moon. It's Saturday night, and it's a night of high adventure. September 22nd, 2012. And uh, I, I'm, I'm going to be able to get in there pretty up close and personal uh, for you tonight. I am still a work in progress. I got a new computer and I think I've every once in a while you'll see little sparkles on the screen. I think I think that's because I have a a bad USB hub and I'm going to be getting another one so just bear with me on this. But I want you to notice something. This crater right here uh, interests me. It's uh, Alphonse Alphonsus crater and uh, named after the Spanish, uh, the famous Spanish astronomer from 1221 to 1284. Uh, and no, the, the, the wind's not blowing. The, the, I'm high in the sky and I'm looking, I'm real close through a barlow and you'll see it moving a little bit. That's, that's just, that's just the way it is. But, but I want you to see something now. I'm, I'm able to really uh, get in there pretty close with clarity. So I think that what I'm going to do is I'm going to back out and we're going to kind of explore uh, this shadow line a little bit. But before I do anything, uh, a friend of mine is very interested in the uh, the Apollo 11 landing site. And I'm going to try to peg that down real close. First of all, let me explain something. Apollo 11 was the first U.S. landed Apollo mission on the moon. Isn't that beautiful stuff? This is beautiful. You 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 bear with me on the on the sparkles. I'll get rid of those eventually. Uh, the, the, that just goes with the territory when you get a new box. But this is just absolutely stunning. And when and I'm going to tell you a little story. Apollo 11 landed on July 20th in 1969. I remember it. I was uh, I was watching it on TV. I had a camera on a tripod. I actually took a picture of it, you know, from the TV. It was a pretty big deal back then. Um, one step for man, uh, one giant leap for mankind. Well, when they were, uh, by the way, there is a there's a crater right there that's that that also interests me, and this crater here is called. Uh, Theophilus crater, Theophilus crater, uh, and th when when the Apollo missions were, and I'm going to zoom in on that. And let you look at it. When the Apollo missions were uh, were surveying, they were surveying. Th there were Apollo missions that preceded this one. They just did surveys of the moon. See, there's my driver acting up again. Just. Uh, eventually I'll fix that. I know Henning's having the same problem with his. Logitech has a problem with their driver. Anyhow, when they were surveying uh, the earlier Apollo missions where they did uh, lunar reconnaissance missions around the moon prior to landing, they noticed a lot of lights and things coming from this particular crater, this, this Theophilus. And I'm going to zoom in on it. And they were trying to peg down a isn't that a stunning picture, guys? Abs absolutely stunning. Look at look how close we get. See those little yellow things? Those are not those those are not UFOs. <laughs> but that's a great picture of the crater. And and they noticed that the, there was a lot of activity coming from this crater. So they decided to land north of that crater in the Sea of Tranquility, and you send, 
you've heard of before how the how the Apollo 11 landed. As a matter of fact, just north of that crater, uh, pretty much uh, centered. I'll move it up just a little bit. See that little crater just center? That little crater, uh, Apollo 11 landed to the uh, uh, to the 11 o'clock of that crater. And I'm going to zoom in on it just for grins. And that's as tight as I can get. And right there centered. That's where the Apollo 11 landed with Neil Armstrong on the moon. And you say, well, Bill, I can't see the, I can't see the lander. <laughs> no, you can't. Uh, and the reason is, is because uh, the, these uh, craters, uh, uh, for example, that little one is, uh, let's see. Well, I can't, I can't give you. A, it's probably less than a mile, less than a mile long. Anyhow, I want to tell you a story about Apollo, uh, Apollo Eleven. Bear with me here. Whenever Neil landed on the moon, and he said that uh, one, uh, one small step for man, and one giant leap for mankind. There, I'll, I'll use that little. See that defect? That that defect uh, is my pointer. <laughs> right there, it's a lens aberration. That's right there, right there. That's where the Apollo 11 landed. And right after he landed, there was some there was some traffic. Now I'm going to zoom back out while I'm talking, so you can kind of get a. A scope out the area again. The Sea of Tranquility is just to the north of this uh, Apollo uh, 11 landing site, and they wanted to land in this area because of all the lights coming from the craters. They, they were interested in finding aliens up there and flying saucers and everything. Well, they did, they did, and uh, matter of fact, right after they landed, well, I'm going to read you the trans. This is a a transcript that was uh, released by Christopher Kraft uh, right before he died and everybody at NASA knew this but it was hidden from the public uh, for years and you can find this transcript on uh, Google just uh, type Neil Armstrong uh, UFO transcript and there's the Apollo 11 landing site right where my pointer is Mission Control What's there? Mission Control calling Apollo 11. I'm, I'm reading this transcript now, guys. Apollo 11. This is Neil. These babies are huge, sir. Enormous. Oh, God. You wouldn't believe it. I'm telling you, there are other spacecraft out there lined up on the far side of the crater edge. They're on the moon watching us. Now, that, that particular segment of this transcript that was actually heard by ham operators. See, back in those days, the ham operators could point, could point their uh, their radio antennas uh, to the moon and, and pick up the uh, the unencrypted uh, traffic from Mission Control. So they knew all this. That's how it got out in the public, and that's why Christopher Kraft released it. And here's the rest of it that was released from by Christopher Kraft. Moon. These giant, these are giant things. No, no, no. This is not an optical illusion. No, no one is going to believe this. This is Neil. Houston, what, 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 what the hell is happening? What's wrong with you? Moon, they're, they're here under the surface. Houston, what's there? Muffled noise. Emission interrupted. Interference control calling Apollo 11. Moon, we saw some visitors. They were here for a while observing the instruments. Houston, repeat your last information. Moon, I say that there were other spaceships that are lined up in the other side of the crater. Houston, repeat, repeat. And of course, this is all blocked out, so you're not hearing it on Earth, because they, they turned that transmission shit up, uh, transmission uh, 
sli slip off, you know, they turned the switch. You couldn't hear it on the TV. Repeat, repeat, moon, let, let us sound this orbit in a 625-5 to 5 automatic relay connected. My hands are shaking so badly I can't do anything. Film it. God, damn cameras have picked up anything. What then? You know, this was kind of a garbled transmission. Houston, have you picked up anything? Moon, I didn't have any film in hand. The three shots of the saucers or whatever they were were ruining the film. Uh, control, uh, control here. Are are you on your way? What what is the uproar with the UFO? Over. And again, let me. I'm still reading this transcript, and <laughs> and I'm going to send it right there, centered on my marker. That aberration right there. <laughs> Control, control, control uh, here. Are, are you on your way? What's the uproar of the UFO? Over. Moon, they've landed here. They're, there they are, and they're watching us. Houston, the mirrors, the mirrors. Have you set them up? Moon, yes, they're on, in the right place, but whoever made those spaceships surely can come here tomorrow and remove them over and out. So, <laughs> so guys... We got us a a hidden agenda with NASA, and I, I wanted to share that. <laughs> he said, "I don't believe that, Bill." Well, that's okay. It's good radio, <laughs> but it's all true. It's all true. In other words, Neil probably was looking at that little see that little crater right there where I'm, sh I'm where yeah center or right where that aberration is kind of centered, right there. Neil was probably looking at spaceships coming out of that crater from, you know, below the surface, and then they hovered above, and then they went back down. And he couldn't believe his ears. Eyes. <laughs> you say, Bill, do you believe all that? I believe everything. I believe every, every word I just read. I believe it's absolute truth. I heard about this, by the way, before. Before it was made public. I heard about the, I heard the ham radio traffic. The ham radio traffic that talked about this. <laughs> Let, let's uh, let's let's can let me turn up the color a little bit, make it more interesting. It, it's not as colorful a moon tonight. You can see there is some color, and you can see the line of demarcation between the uh, Sea of Serenity on the north, right there, and the, at the twelve o'clock, and then the Sea of Tranquility below. And I, I tell you what I'm going to do. Th this is such a good moon. Um, and look at the mountains. Look, look, look at. We're, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're we're gonna go a little bit. I'm interested in that cut right there. Looks like a spaceship that crashed. You know, it's got a gouge. You know, let's zoom in on that. Look at that. They look like rivers. They're probably, uh, you know, if there if if the moon was active at one time, there, it was probably lava uh, flows or something like that. But look how look how when we get in so far, then it gets a little bit of uh, you know. But if I go back, uh, like about right there, man, that's a great picture. That's a stunning picture. And, and you can see the uh, the gouge there that I was looking at. I don't know what that is. And then when we when we go to north, and some of you people like to me to give you the the exact uh, information, well, let me uh, continue to do that as I can. The uh, again, this is let me back out. That's that's stunning, stunning. That's the sea of tranquility. And that crater uh, to the uh, nine o'clock that, that that's in the mountains right there. See that little crater sitting there in the mountains? That's Conon uh, crater, and it's twenty-one clicks. Uh, 
21 clicks wide. And let me, I'm going to pause this just a second so I can get my converter up. And then I'll be right back. That's a beautiful shot. Look at those mountains, guys. The Alps on the moon. Okay, uh, again, I'm going to just kind of let it be right here, and I'm going to put it right there. And you can see at the 9 o'clock position, that's cone on, 21 clicks. 21 clicks is about 12 miles, 12 miles wide. Now, take a look at that little crater in the mountains at the 2 o'clock position from cone on. See it? That little tiny crater in the mountains? That crater is and make sure Aratus crater and it's 10 clicks or 6.24 miles so you can see how close we're getting now let me do this just to give you a perspective of how good my telescope is and I, I apologize for the sparkles but I mean I have you know what can I say I'm going to zoom in on Aratus crater as I get zoomed in Aratus is kind of centered there and that's uh, again 10 clicks or 6.21 miles and if you look to the 3 o'clock of Aratus see that little crater at the edge of that mar that's called Dorsum Goss Crater. No, it's not. I don't know what. I, I do not know what that crater. That probably is a mile. That's probably a mile. So you can you can see I can see pretty close, but I can't see the the spaceship. Look at those mountains. Isn't that absolutely stunning? Absolutely stunning. Let's continue north here. Uh, and I tell you, I'm going to show you another another landing site since it's so so good tonight. Centered, centered, exactly centered right now, exactly centered. See that little peak below that? See that dark shadow the, in the in, to the to the to the left of that mountain range, the Alps, and then see that one peak there, and just north of that peak, just a little bit is where the Apollo, the Apollo 15 landed on the moon. These are some incredible shots, and if I can get the sparkles out, it'll be absolutely perfect. Isn't, isn't that inc an incredible shot right there? Unbelievable. Hold it. Let me let me make sure I'm telling you right. I might not be able. Let's see. Nope, <laughs> I told you wrong. I told you wrong. You can't see. You can't see the Apollo 15. The Apollo 15 is centered in the dark on the over there. I'll, I'll go back up to where I was looking and tell you what we were looking at. We weren't looking at a landing site for Apollo. We were looking at the Alps. But since I pegged it now, see that see that uh, crater there. The that crater with the uh, the two centered it's it's a it's Cassini crater and the large crater at the one o'clock uh, position two o'clock from Cassini uh, at the kind of the edge of the Alps is uh, Exodus crater. Anyhow, th these these are some great shots. And let me do this. Let me try to uh, focus again. 
focus. I can't get over this mountain range. Absolutely stunning. Okay, let's go down the and you can see the color, some of the color coming out. Isn't that pretty? Man, that's pretty. That's some of the best. That, that's some of the best shots I've ever had of uh, of the mountain uh, of the mountain range. You know, you can actually see the shadows and everything. It's really incredible. Okay, let's uh, continue down. By the way, my name is Bill Bryson. You say, who is this idiot that's talking about Neil Armstrong saying UFOs on the moon. <laughs> I'm Bill Bryson, and I try to get out every night, although my computer went out, and I couldn't get out for quite a while. And I got a new computer, and and now I'm having some issues with the sparkles and, a, and the driver. A friend of mine, Countdown2010 uh, on YouTube, has an exact configuration of as a camera configuration as mine and uh, he also picks up the color on the moon he, he does some stun absolutely stunning work and he he's having the same exact problems I'm having with the sparkles I if you watch my other videos earlier I mean you'll see in that beautiful you'll see that I was getting sparkles before but because this is a hotter box, and I'm, I'm actually recording a higher density signal, and, and actually the image quality should be better. Uh, it's more susceptible to uh, to that. L let's zoom in on I, I see something there. I'm not sure what it is. It's centered. I just don't know what it is. Matter of fact, let's leave it. We're getting in there pretty close, guys. See, when I back out about right to there, then the image gets clearer. The, you know, as I get in closer, and now I'm heading down toward the bottom of the moon. And let's do this. Let's turn on autofocus. And try to focus it manually first. Okay. Now I'm going to try to turn autofocus on. See how it jumped in and out? Now, what I want to do is I'll back out as. That's, beauty, that's beautiful shots, guys. I'm giving you some good. I'm really giving you some, some good video of the moon. And I finally told you the story of Neil Armstrong looking at the UFOs on the moon. I mean, what more do you want on a Saturday night? <coughs> and there's the ferret. And in and out of focus, it came in, in again. What I'm going to do when I get to the top here, to finish it off, I'm going to take this Barlow off and uh, and put in just a 19 millimeter. And that that line right there, see that line? I call it uh, see it centered kind of. That's not a down spaceship at all. That's that's really just a cut. In uh, in the Vallis Alps, and let's uh, go back down here to the this incredible shot of the mountains. You know. Redo the manual focus again one more time. Good session. Okay, I'm putting it on pause. And just for the record, I, I'm, I'm, I'm recording this thing at uh, 
20 uh, four frames a second and I was thinking if I dropped the frame rate I've tried several things I've dropped the frame rate down fixed it I'm still getting the sparkles I replaced uh, the, the, uh, the cables and and uh, I'm thinking that the USB hub that I have out there I need to get a high-speed USB hub and I don't have a high-speed one anyhow I'm, I'm, tr I'm trying to do things to improve the quality hang with me I'm gonna take this uh, take this lens a Barlow out and put in the other one. It should be a clear picture to finish it up. What a stunning picture, guys. Absolutely stunning. And I'll turn the color up a little bit. And now you can see some of the uh, color better. When you put the Barlow in, sometimes it washes out. Th this is absolutely, this is some fantastic video. If, if I can get over all my little technical di difficulties, I think uh, in the end, I'll really have some of the best high quality video you can get from the moon because this does require a lot of uh, tuning. See that little blip? That's, that's a driver failure. And I think if I maybe get a higher speed, isn't that, isn't that beautiful, guys? Absolutely beautiful. And let's, uh, just for grins, let's zoom in. And I was looking at something down here. Centered, I'm not sure what that is. I just don't know what it is. Some stunning, stunning visuals. Let's go up the uh, up the shadow line and take a look at that mountain range again. See, I'm sitting here drinking my my, my, my coffee. It's a donut blend, <laughs> donut blend, like Dunkin' Donuts, uh, a, a good equivalent and uh, just enjoying the moon with you. You're, you're probably sitting there drinking a scotch. <laughs> See when you when you get put you put lenses and everything it, it, you know the more lenses you have the more, less clarity it, it becomes and this lens this is a $300 lens so you're getting some some very very high quality uh, let me do autofocus again right. do manual focus I've been real pleased uh, w with this computer overall I have had issues though with the, with the you know I think the image quality is better I think I'm I'm getting a, a smoother see it, it pays just to use the manual I was trying to auto focus see there's manual it looks better and again that's the sea of uh, serenity and then below, isn't that beautiful? Look, look at this. Is a sea of tranquility. And as I, as I did, I'm going going full circle again. Centered. I'm going to put that little. crater. See that little crater that's pretty much centered to the 11 o'clock of that crater where that little blip went just about is where the Apollo 11 landed with Neil Armstrong. One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. 
Have a good football Sunday, guys. Wishing you and yours clear skies, guys.